Hi, I'm Dr. Drury, and uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, Bell's palsy. So, uh, what is Bell's palsy? Well, Bell's palsy is a uh, basically a paralysis of the face, uh, often one side over the other side. Rarely, it's on both sides. But what happens is, is whole side of the face uh, becomes paralyzed. Basically, the skin starts to droop, the eyelid can droop, uh, you lose sensation of the face. Typically, it's it's seen as one side of the face doesn't move, so when you talk, maybe this side talks and this side doesn't really move so much. Now, um, medical uh, approach has not been very successful. There aren't any drugs or any surgeries that really have anything to do with that. Uh, usually, when you go to the doctor, they say, well, you know, just give it some time and there's a certain chance that this will go away on its own. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Well, where Bell's palsy actually comes from, uh, what is actually caused by is pressure on the facial nerve, the nerve that controls uh, the muscles of the face, the uh, tautness, the skin, uh, often the eyelid and the mouth. And so what happens is if you have one of the bones in the top of the neck, specifically one of the atlas or the axis, the top two bones where the brainstem come out. If a bone gets even a little bit out of position there, it can actually interfere with the messages from the brain going to that nerve that comes out of the brainstem up into the face so that the nerve doesn't get the full message from the brain. So this part of the face loses uh, its, its ability to control those muscles in the face. So it's like stepping on a garden hose, but the stepping is up here at the brainstem level, uh, particularly at the level of that facial nerve. So the result is you lack, have a lack of messages being sent to the face. So the muscles get lax and they start to droop and you start to lose the sensation of the face. So now the brain, the brain stem, the spinal cord don't do not have any pain perception. So don't say, oh, well, I don't have any neck pain. I don't have any headaches. You don't necessarily have to have any pain in the neck whatsoever to have a bone just out of the line, just enough to interfere with the messages from your brain to your face. As a matter of fact, just the amount of pressure it takes for you to feel something, to just touch the back of your hand can cut the flow through a nerve by 50%. Okay, so does, we're not talking about major, uh, you know, serious trauma type injury to the neck. It could have been something very slight. Could have even slept wrong and woke up in the morning and all of a sudden your face was numb, okay? So as an upper cervical chiropractor, what we do is we specialize in the upper part of the neck, this particular area. And we have instrumentation, we have very specialized imaging that we can actually take a look at the upper bones of the neck to see if something is out of alignment to the degree that it could be creating symptoms of Bell's palsy. So if you live in the Charlotte area, uh, we're the office for you, Upper Cervical Spine Center. We're on Arrowwood Road. Uh, feel free to give us a call. We never charge for the consultation to find out what your needs are. If it's something we believe we can help you with, we'll, we'll tell you and explain to you what we need to do to go further. If it's not something we think we can help, we can rule this out and then we can help you look elsewhere to try to find another specialist that can help you. So give our office a call at 704-588-5560. Uh, if you don't live in the Charlotte area, do yourself a favor, Google upper cervical chiropractor near me. Uh, and if you can't find someone, call our office. We'll do our best to try to find the doctor closest to you to try to help you with your Bell's palsy, whatever your upper cervical problem may be. Okay, we look forward to meeting you. I hope you have a great day. I hope this gives you a little clarity on Bell's palsy. Uh, for every effect in the universe, there is a cause. So let's get to the cause and let's get it corrected. Have a great day.